Hey there, and welcome to the second Agency Matrix tech support blog. I'm Chandler, and today's topic is going to be Adobe Reader. Now, for many of you who do Accord Forms, you've probably run into uh, the headache that has been Adobe so far the last few months. Uh, the history behind this is uh, something somewhat relevant. Adobe, as you know, is the foremost provi third-party provider of PDF readers for the internet. Uh, they have paid platforms like Acrobat, and they're, then they have the free plugin that used to go into browsers, uh, which was Adobe Reader. Now, with effective last September, Google pushed for a new standard on how plugins are supposed to literally plug into browsers. The old format was so old, it still had Netscape in the name. Most of you probably haven't heard that spoken since the late 90s. That's how old that standard was. So they pushed for a new one. It's more secure, but unfortunately, it's more complicated as well. And not just Adobe, but all the PDF readers and viewers are forced to do a rather significant rewrite of their programs in order to get it to work with the current on-market browsers. On-market browsers are the ones actually being supported. Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, and Opera. All of these have updated to the new standard, but Adobe hasn't been able to do this. Internet Explorer, however, because it was discontinued, as we mentioned in the previous video, um, still has the ability to use in, uh, the Adobe Reader plugin inside the browser like it used to. Now, for doing a chord forms, this presents a bit of a problem. For most of you, overwhelming majority, you have Windows machines with Internet Explorer. And since many of you already have to have it open to deal with some carrier websites, it's not too much of a hassle to simply do your chord forms inside Internet Explorer, but continue using the Internet on a modern browser. Uh, for those of you with Macs, however, you're going to have to do a little workaround. And in this video, I'm going to show you the two primary workarounds and some tips in general for helping, uh, for ensuring that this continues to work properly. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to show you the two ways to do Accord Forms on a PC. And one of these also works on Macs. So first, let's start with a slightly easier method, which is using Internet Explorer. So you can see I already got it open over here. So to do an Accord form in Internet Explorer, you need to just check two things. One, if you see up here, you got these little symbols, this little gear. Click on the About Internet Explorer. Make sure you're on version 11. Uh, it's, it was the last version put out by Microsoft, and it's by far the most stable and most reliable of all of them. So you will want to be on this. If you're getting a message that says that you can't upgrade past version 9, that means you're on an outdated OS, mainly Vista or something older. So you'll uh, need to upgrade to at least Windows 7 to uh, be able to access Internet Explorer 11. So once you got Internet Explorer 11, you also want to make sure that you get Adobe Reader uh, to its latest version. All you need to do is go into Google, type in Adobe Reader, and the first thing should be this. You'll notice it says get.adobereader.com slash reader. Click on that. And then once it's loaded up here, you want to hit install now. Make sure you always click this off because McAfee is um, not a great product. Let's put it that way. And you want to, you, you don't want that on your computer. So click that off, hit install. It'll put the latest version of Adobe Reader automatically on your computer. Okay? So that's pretty straightforward. So now, on Internet Explorer, all you really need to do is once you have it set up, all you need to do is click on one of these forms and it's going to open the old way inside the browser. As you can see, we're still inside Internet Explorer and the Adobe plugin is functioning inside the browser the way it's meant to. So this is the easiest way to do it and the most reliable. So here we're going to add a little nickname to Mr. Omari. Uh, we're going to call him Bob Jr. and the thing will still work the exact same way you're used to. You hit save. It's going to ask you to try and... Oh, you notice up here it says PDF was saved. Let it close the tab, boom, you're done. And when you go back into it, Bob Jr. is right there. Um, Internet Explorer, like I said, many of you have to have it open already. So this isn't too terrible an inconvenience for you. Now, for those of you who are on Macs and don't have Internet Explorer or who prefer to try and use Chrome or Firefox, I'm going to show you the slightly more difficult method of getting it to work. So many of you have noticed that if you try and do an Accord form on Google Chrome, you click on this and you get this error. 
and then many of you when you call me you let me know i already went to adobe's website and got the latest version why is it still saying this well it's because the plugin doesn't work right the uh the internal viewer that chrome comes with the chrome pdf viewer is very basic it can't do advanced uh pdf file formats like what our record forms are they are interactive after all it's a little more complicated than a basic pdf so this is why you're getting this error so what do you do to fix that well step one open a fresh tab and up here in the address bar you're going to type in what you see chrome colon two slashes and then the word plugins. You see it's auto completing for me already. Hit enter. And you're going to get taken to this very short list of plugins. Okay? Chrome PDF Viewer. This is what you're going to need to disable. You're going to click that little disable link. Boom. You saw how it turns gray now. That means it's no longer functioning. So what's this do? Well, when you go back to an Accord form, it's no longer going to try and use the Chrome PDF Viewer to see the Accord form. Now, it's going to download it. Once it's downloaded, you can click on it, and it's going to default to using Adobe Reader on the desktop. You notice how the little symbol came up over here? That's because this is the desktop version of Adobe Reader. Not in, it's no longer inside the plugin or the uh, internet browser, excuse me. So we want to make changes. This is where things get a little more complicated. So we're going to take out the Bob Jr. and just leave it back at Mr. Omari Isaac, and you're going to hit Save. And you're going to get this. So, like I said, our forms are interactive. They're part of our website. So, they need to talk to our server, but you're no longer inside an internet browser. You're now on your desktop. So, you need to give it permission. So, you always want to hit allow. And it's going to be submitting, receiving, and then it's going to give you some random errors that normally happen. Don't know why. It's, it's very weird that way. But... Once you're done, you get back in it, open it up again, and there you go. It did save it. Even though it gave that strange little error, it still managed to save it. Now, for you folks on Macs, this is the only way you can do this is through Internet Explorer. And you're going to get some additional weird errors that are going to tell you that things failed or that they didn't go through. Uh, Adobe and Apple have had a very negative relationship the last uh, decade, roughly. So um, their things don't work well together, but it does save it. Regardless of all the error messages they'll be throwing out uh, or the fail to communicate things, it, most of the times it still does save, right? So to recap real quickly, you need to go into your plugin. So you're going to type this in, disable your Chrome PDF viewer, and then every time you click on one of the Accord forms, it's going to go ahead and take you to the desktop version of Adobe Reader and you should be good to go. Um, we, If you're on a PC, we do encourage you to, or at least it's easier, we don't encourage it, but it is easier to operate in Internet Explorer because what happens is without the Chrome PDF viewer turned on, you click on any PDF or receipt or anything, you're now going to download it. You're no longer going to be able to open up PDFs inside uh, the browser at all. Uh, at least in Chrome, which is why if you have the option of using Internet Explorer, it's uh, it might save you a little time, especially if you have to deal with a lot of receipts and whatnot. Um, for you Mac users, I apologize. There's unfortunately no workaround. Hopefully, Adobe should be getting uh, an updated version of the plugin so that things can go back to normal soon. But at the current moment, there is no estimated date. So once again, I've been Chandler with Tech Support. Thank you so much for listening, and uh, hopefully you learn something useful, make your life a little easier. You guys have yourselves a great day. Thanks.